Yeah, hi, it's Keith. We're having a bit of a mayhem here. I'm trying to draw this, and my drawing is terrible. If anyone knows it, I'm okay with bits of wire, but I'm not very good at drawing. Just looking at discharge curves of lithium batteries is a it's a big problem. Lithium phosphate are prismatic cell batteries. Um, I, I've been given different colour pens. So this is sort of a general discharge curve. It will drop slowly, slowly down. It's dropping, and then suddenly it comes off a cliff edge like that. Um, if the battery is 100%, and then here is uh, voltage, okay? So this this is your voltage, and this is your, your, your capacity, 0%, okay? All great. I have a question. This is a brand new cell. It's a brand new. The problem we've got is most of the BMSs that detect here, your BMS is detected, so this being 100% uh, discharge, this being a full, and your BMS is communicating to the battery. It's one thing. The problem we've got is when you're using secondhand batteries, secondhand cells, um, which has been an issue um, for me because I've had a lot of ex a lot of calls. And I'm asking the question out there if other people have the same experience. So I, I would really like to know what your experience is about using. So you, you might say, oh, they're wonderful, then the, no problem. Um, I've personally not had experience of using secondhand cells. Most of the stuff I've ever used is all brand new. But the problem, what I'm seeing is, and this is from sort of um, the, the sort of textbook, is when you're using a, a, a sort of secondhand cell, you'll drop down, it will drop down like this, but here, this drops down, maybe the capacity, this, is, this here is obviously your capacity, and there is some sort of, there is degradation in the capacity of the battery. The problem is, at this point here, does my question, this is my question is, is the BMS still seeing, if this is naught, if this is the 30% line, is the BMS looking at a battery saying, oh, you've got 30% capacity, yet it hasn't got enough power to keep the DC bus bar going on the inverter? Because reality, the 30% is completely flat. And that's my question. And then here, maybe maybe this is the sort of, I, know, I use a different colour, but uh, and I'm comparing with a new battery, and maybe with a new battery, there's my 50% line. So here's my 50%. And my, qu my question is, this figure, this figure here, the BMS may be reading this as being still 30%, but it's dropping. And we are experiencing these problems. And I want to, am I wrong? I, I, I want to ask you guys what to advise because you, you install these things um, with sort of, or some people do and some people don't. I just want to know what the sort of general feedback and general comment is about using secondhand cells. Um, as an engineer, uh, it's not something I would personally recommend. Um, but obviously I do accept, I understand that people are on budgets and looking at the financial reasons why they would do it. So the financial reasons totally understand that. But I just want to understand something a little bit more about it because theoretically, if it's both cells using the same BMS, then the rating will be different. Um, and this is a problem that we're getting. So I'm gonna pass it over to everybody else and please come back. And I would like to know other people's experience and. Put, I'll put it up on the forum, other people's experience of using it, and so we can share, and so everybody can share their experience, and if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Thanks for watching.